Now we have covered the majority of the drawing and editing tools in Mental Canvas. Let's return to the fly-through animation and take a look at visibility. We created a nice fly-through of our scene in an earlier video. Now we can use the visibility tools to customize which canvases are visible in each one of these bookmarks. When the bookmarks bar is fully open, you'll see three tabs, Timeline, Visibility, and Settings. In an earlier video, we used the Timeline tab to adjust the timing of the fly-through. Now let's switch to the Visibility tab. By default, the fly-through will show which canvases you happen to have on or off. As you can see, all of my canvases are turned on right now, so that's what we see throughout the whole animation. If I open my canvas panel and turn off the canvas with the sun and then press play, you'll see that that canvas is now hidden from all of the views. But sometimes we want to customize this so the sun canvas is visible in one view and hidden in another. To do this, we need to enable custom visibility by switching this toggle on. Now we can go in and customize the visibility in each bookmark. Let's say I want the sun to disappear in the second bookmark. I need to open up the canvas panel like this. Now I'm going to turn off the sun canvas by tapping on the eye icon. Then I'll go to the bookmark that I want to adjust and tap on the refresh button below the thumbnail. Now I've refreshed the bookmark to match my visibility settings. You'll see a little number above the bookmark. This represents the number of canvases that you have hidden in that view. In this case, I have the sun canvas hidden, so I see a number one above the bookmark. When I tap on another bookmark, it will show me which canvases are on and off. So I'll go over here to the first bookmark and I can see all of the canvases are visible. If I tap on the second bookmark again, I can see that the sun has been hidden. Okay, let's try this again. Now I want to hide the birds from this bookmark. I'll turn off the bird canvas and then refresh the bookmark. It's important to note that I'm not tapping on the bookmark because that will just bring me back to the view. So instead, I'm tapping on the refresh button to make the adjustment. Take some time to practice this. Try hiding the clouds from the first bookmark and hiding the sun from the third bookmark. There is another helpful way to work with custom visibility. Now that I've already turned on this toggle, I'm in this custom visibility mode. This means if I create a new bookmark, it will match my current visibility settings. So let's say I want a new view of the city from this perspective without the people. I'll turn off the people canvas and find the view I like. Now when I tap the camera icon, I can see the new bookmark reflects the visibility settings, so the people are hidden. This only works when we have turned the toggle on so we are in the custom visibility mode. You can always go back to the default by turning off the toggle. Now press play and you'll see all of the bookmarks have the same visibility settings again. It's important to understand that visibility works with canvases, not layers. You can think of layers as the building blocks of a canvas and the canvases are the elements that you are actually animating. So if I change a layer in the city canvas, for example, that applies to all of the views in the scene. If I happen to have a canvas with multiple layers and I want those layers to animate with the visibility tools, I can do that by selecting the layer and using the projection tool to create a new canvas with it. And you don't actually need to move the content to create a new canvas. So in this example, I'll just tap the projection tool and then tap confirm without projecting the content. Now it's on its own canvas and I can customize the visibility. There are many ways you can work with visibility, as you can see in this example. You can use the visibility settings to show things changing over time or perhaps adding captions to different views. You could have several bookmarks in a row all from the same perspective and use the visibility tools to show elements appear and disappear. Visibility is a great tool for storytelling. Play around with it yourself to get the hang of it.